Switch blocks are the most game-changing development in VEX programming, full stop. As someone who has been teaching robotics since 2017, I've seen the biggest hurdle for students moving from block-based coding to more advanced systems, and that is the transition to text-based coding. But now with switch blocks, VEX has created a powerful tool that helps bridge this gap. They allow students to get comfortable with Python by seamlessly integrating text-based code into their block-based projects. And this not only makes the jump smoother, but also boosts confidence and creativity. If you want to learn how to fully harness the power of switch blocks in your team, be sure to stick around for the whole video. First up, let's start with something basic. If you have Clawbot built like I have, then make sure that you have IQ Brain second gen selected and the drivetrain created for port one and six and using the inertial brain gyro sensor. After that, have a look at this code. When it starts, we print out Mr. Code to the brain. Then we set the drive velocity to 70% and we drive forwards and backwards. Let's start by replacing that first block here, print Mr. Code. So I go into the switch blocks, and then I drag in a switch stack. Over here, I can now reference the brain uh, because that is what I need to do in order to access the print method. So here I can start typing by pressing B. You'll notice that this menu pops up straight away. This is called code hinting. And code hinting makes it easier for you to type in code faster and also reduce the errors. So you can select a, um, an item using the up and down arrow keys and then press enter instead of typing the whole thing by hand. And it's really important to use code hinting, especially with these more modern IDE systems. It's because if you mistype something in Python, then it can cause an error. Okay, so keep that in mind. So brain.screen.print, and then I'm gonna put in Mr. Code. Close the bracket. And that's it, I've replaced one line of code using Python. What about the set drive velocity. I can do the exact same thing. I can add another switch block. And then in order to reference the drive velocity, I need to go and talk to the drivetrain. So I go D, drivetrain, and then here drivetrain pops up, press enter, dot, and then set drive velocity is right down here, set underscore drive underscore velocity. That's really, really clear, isn't it? So here I can just go down, set drive velocity to uh, 70 comma and then percent. Here again, using the code hints as much as possible to reduce the errors. For example, if I had typed in percent without capitals, then it would cause all sorts of issues for me. Without driving forwards and backwards. Let's do one more switch block. Now, how did I know to access the brain or the drivetrain or anything like that? You will need to spend a little bit of time reading through the Python documentation. The Python documentation is a um, uh, on, the, on the side hints inside a text-based project when you select Python in VEX. And uh, you can access this anytime by starting a VEX uh, Python project. And uh, understanding all the documentation is really important for you to uh, know how to use these blocks, uh, these switch blocks, uh, effectively. Okay, so here I'm going to drivetrain dot drive four. I'm going to go forward, comma two hundred, comma millimeters. Close the bracket, and then I can actually add a second line of code here. So I can uh, add multiple lines of code into a switch stack block. So here I'm going to go reverse. 200 millimeters. Okay, if I really wanted to, I could put all the code into one switch stack block, but that also reduces my flexibility because then I won't be able to separate out the blocks 
uh, for use in different areas of my code. Now, I spent a lot of time making robotics content videos just like these. So if you find this video helpful or interesting, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Now let's try something a little bit more advanced. Let's try making a loop using switch blocks. So getting back to our code here, we have uh, a little bit of a pattern where we're moving forwards 200 millimeters and then turning right. And then we're repeating that four times. The result of this is that our robot moves in the shape of a square. Now I want to change out this repeat four block with a switch block. And how do I do that? I look for the same block uh, of the same shape and it is this one here, okay? This switch C block. See how they both look like the letter C? So this is going to replace my repeat four block. And I can put the code that I want to repeat inside. And to do a loop in Python, we go for i, the i is an iterator variable, in range four. We have to end anything that we put into a switch C block with a colon as well. Now, this is going to make it so that I repeat whatever is in here four times. I can also change these out and then replace these with switched blocks as well. So here, put in a switch stack block, drivetrain dot drive four, forward comma 200 millimeters, and then what about the turn? Drivetrain dot, and then we can go down to, whoops, drivetrain dot, uh, turn four, and then we can go uh, the direction, angle, and units. So turn four, go right, uh, 90, degrees all right and it's easy as that so you might be wondering mr code how did you know to use the for keyword to write a loop or how did you know how to use a range function in order to repeat something four times and the answer to that is that it is all basic python and i teach it every single week in our YouTube member live streams. For just $14.99 US dollars a month or $19.99 Australian dollars a month, you'll get access to exclusive weekly live stream coding tutorials where we dive deep into advanced programming in Scratch and Python, both of which are great to expand your coding knowledge. And these live sessions are perfect for anyone looking to take their skills to the next level, whether you're preparing for a competition or just love learning more about programming. Your membership not only gives you access to valuable content, but also contributes significantly to the running of this channel, helping me bring you more high quality videos and tutorials. I would really appreciate your support and I'd love to see you in our next live stream. So if you're interested, hit the join button below this video to become a member today. So now let's have a look at sensors. Now I have attached a uh, touch LED to port three and then a distance sensor to port five. And now I have a basic code here where we are looping in a forever block, where we're checking the distance of the object in front of our distance sensor. If it is within 50 millimeters, then the touch LED will glow red. Else, if the distance is less than 100 millimeters, it will be orange and otherwise it's going to glow green. So firstly, let's replace the forever loop. To replace the forever loop, we're going to write a switch C block uh, to repeat something forever. To repeat something forever with Python, we say while true, and that's it. While true uh, with capital T uh, and ending with a colon, we'll repeat something forever. So if I put this back in, it'll be exactly the same functionality. But not only that, I want to replace this um, uh, massive if statement as well. So if, else, if, else, uh, I want to replace that. So how do I do it? I go and uh, put in an expandable uh, switch block. And then I can put in my condition here. If distance dot uh, object distance uh, millimeters 
is less than 50 colon. Remember, inside uh, switch C blocks, you have to end all your lines with, um, with colons, okay? So if that is the case, then I glow red. I can add another one. Elif, that's uh, short for else if in Python. Elif distance dot object distance in millimeters uh, is less than 100. Then I s switch my color to yellow. And then finally, else, I switch my color to green. And there we have it. I've now got the majority of my code written in Python. My Robotics Center Creator Academy is dedicated to teaching kids about coding and robotics. If your team is looking for coaching advice, we provide remote coaching, building, and coding assistance for teams all around the world. Visit www.creatoracademy.au or drop me a message to find out more. And that's it from me today. Remember, if you want to join our weekly live streams and learn how to incorporate Python into your team's robot code, press the join button below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.